Rising nearly 400 feet above the desert floor in a remote section of New Mexico within ancient Anasazi territory is a place named Chaco Canyon and within stands an imposing natural structure called Fajada Butte. Hidden from the world for over 700 years along a precarious narrow ledge, there lay a secret, ancient, astronomical observatory. Subsequently given the name Sun Dagger, and the reason why is nothing less than remarkable. It has been revealed that for more than a thousand years, the Sun Dagger has been revealing to all aware of its creation the subtle changing of the seasons. In 1977, it was thankfully rediscovered when rock art and petroglyphs were spotted nearby. Anna Sofer, who was cataloging the rock art, was one morning greeted by the Sun Dagger, slowly traveling across the wall, traversing the strange spiral patterns which were etched upon them. The intelligent Anna realized that the Sun Dagger could have been connected to the petroglyphs, so along with her colleagues, she came back at various dates throughout the year, eventually establishing the following information. On the summer solstice, the Sun Dagger appears near the top of the largest spiral, and over a period of 18 minutes it slices through the very center, cutting the spiral in half before leaving it in shadow for another year. On the winter solstice, two daggers of light appear, lasting for 49 minutes, during which they frame the large spiral. Finally, an equally fascinating and more complex light show occurs on the spring and autumn equinoxes. The large spiral is carved in such a way that counting from the center outward to the right, there are nine grooves. On each equinox, a dagger of light appears that cuts through the spiral on different angles. Meanwhile, a second dagger slices through the center of the smaller spiral. These light shows, which had been going on for centuries, continued for several years after their rediscovery. However, in 1989, it was found that the granite slabs had shifted. The alignments that had been arranged so carefully were no more. It also seems impossible for us modern people to realign them as all attempts have failed. Was this sun dagger really made by the Anasazi Indians? Or was it a far older surviving relic, one that they were merely aware of, a relic which has unfortunately eroded away? Similar ancient light displays marking the solstices and equinoxes can be found at other locations as well, such as in the southwestern United States and Mexico. In a ruin in Hovenweep National Monument, near the borders of Utah and Colorado, Light beams also illuminate spiral petroglyphs on the summer solstice. At Burrow Flats in Southern California, a winter solstice sun points a finger of light to the center of five concentric rings in an early Chumash rock art display. Were these monuments once used by a lost, ancient advanced group of marauders as calendar sites while traveling America? Perhaps one day we will know for sure. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.